We're going to learn more about capabilities of business in St. Mary's. Joining us today, we've got Katie Bloomhorse. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so there's been a lot of growth with this company over the past 25 plus years, hasn't there? There has. There has. We celebrated our 25th anniversary last year and have been working really hard to support more and more people. We uh, we passed a couple of milestones. Um, we are serving um, four, over 4,000 people last year. Um, so that was the highest number of people that we have ever served. And uh, we have now over 200 employees. So we're really excited to, uh, to have these opportunities in front of us. And, and you're out there really helping a specific group of people, people with disabilities, you know, get jobs, you know, uh, do the kind of things that they really want to achieve in their life, right? Right, right. We provide lots of different services, um, employment services, driving services, um, training, computer training, um, lots of different things that we, uh, we provide to people to help them to achieve their goals. Um, so it, uh, we're, we're just as diverse in the amount of services that we have as the amount of people that we serve. Right, exactly. So do you guys like have this new strategic plan in place? I mean, what kind of things are you working on here? Yeah, so um, 2023, the calendar flipped over. We uh, we now are uh, working on how to have ownership and responsibility for our goals. And we are working with the people that we serve to also um, prove that they have ownership and they have input and can uh, how we can support them to achieve those goals. Is there a lot of support from, you know, area communities and the businesses that you work with? Are, are, is it like big partnerships that you have? Uh, we have great support among all lots of different employers um, and all different types of industry. So large, small, um, everybody um, contributes and helps. And so a lot of the work that we do is directly with hiring managers to understand how to work with people with disabilities. Right. And, and that can be tricky. I mean, I think, you know, you can understand probably how some people may hesitate about that. But, you know, there are employees that are some of the best employees, I assume, for some companies, right? Right, right. We, uh, we definitely do a lot of training with um, managers, new managers, old managers, experienced managers on, on how to speak with people with disabilities um, because it can be intimidating. It can be um, different than your normal interactions. And definitely seeing somebody with a disability, you often come with those biases about um, how, what a person can or can't do. And so the advice that we always give to anybody in general public, and especially when you're interviewing somebody, is um, to speak directly to the person to be calm, don't be as nervous as you should be um, in a situation, and um, speak directly with eye contact and ask them direct questions. Um, if they are not um, taking your question, if they don't understand, try and rephrase that, use shorter words um, and clearer words. Right, because uh, through the help of like capabilities, you've been able to train some of these people, they're ready to go into the workforce, right? Right, right. We do, we do a lot of pre-training, a lot of preparation with people um, about how to interact, um, how to answer questions. Um, and sometimes a job developer that could be in the interview can help to paraphrase those questions, um, to prepare and move them to how they can highlight themselves the best. You know, this is a time where many businesses, companies are having a problem filling their workforce. I assume capabilities is one of those places that could help because you might have the right person and be able to train someone to help with the workforce shortages. Absolutely. We, we have definitely found that in the last couple of years. Um, all employers of all sorts um, are seeing hiring shortages. Um, their traditional hiring pools are different. And people with disabilities are the largest minority groups. And we're able to, um, to help with that um, and to fill a gap and fill a need. And so working with employers to understand what their needs are, um, what type of employees are really successful, um, what tasks those employees should be doing, um, we can partner and talk about um, how to make those things happen. All right. Information's on the screen, too, to get in touch with you guys. Thank you very much for joining us today and telling us about capabilities. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Don't go away. New Edition continues in a moment.